Welcome to the mystery of Lord Devon's demise. What started out as a weekend party held by Lord Devon at his gracious estate has ended in his murder. And not only his murder, but apparently several other crimes have been detected as well. And in Lord Devon's demise, the agents have been given six days to not only solve the murders, but solve as many of the other crimes as possible and report back to earn the respect and credibility of Scotland Yard. So with the theme of a murder mystery, Lord Devon is actually a skill-based program that has been designed to teach and reinforce the seven principles of running an effective meeting. So Lord Devon's demise under the theme of a murder mystery can either be run as a conference event in three or four hours or as a skill-based program usually run in four hours. It can have as few as five participants and again, the sky's the limit. As many people as you have at your conference, we can run Lord Devon's demise. So although participants feel that their objective is to solve the murder and as many other crimes as possible, the real objective of Lord Devon's demise is actually to practice running effective meetings. So before we launch them into the murder mystery, we spend some time talking about what are the seven principles required to run an effective meeting. We all know and have been in many meetings where we walk out and say, what was the purpose? We got off on so many rabbit trails. We actually are never getting anything done. Time is so limited these days, we need to ensure that our meetings are effective. So the seven principles for running an effective meeting are very simple. Number one, know the objective of the meeting. Number two, get input from all participants. Number three, ensure there is clarity between fact and opinion. Number four, recap periodically over the course of the meeting. Number five, make decisions. Number six, assign tasks to individuals. And number seven, commit to following up after the meeting or at the next meeting. So seven very simple principles that can turn your meetings to be effective. But it's a skill and it needs to be practiced. And that's how we use Lord Devon's demise. So once we make teams aware of what the principles are, we have a six day experience for them. And every single day they are going to get new information about the crimes and about the murder. And teams will effectively hold six meetings to decipher the clues make decisions, and submit their answers for what they feel the crimes are. So we have four different rooms set up around the room, in the, either a conference room or a training room. We have the criminal psychologist office, the chief investigator's office, the physical evidence room, and the forensic laboratory. And every single day, which lasts between 15 and 20 minutes, Participants will go to each of these offices and see, is there new information for us? So from the forensic laboratory, I may find a napkin with a coffee stain that has been analyzed with some information. I may find a lab report of some materials that have been found on the site. I may find fingerprints that I can assess and look against the characters that have been at the party. I can go to the physical evidence room and I can see things like the murder weapon. I can find other things like a pawn. Well, how was that used? In the chief investigator's office, there are photographs of some of the materials that were found. And in the criminal psychologist's office, I have letters that have been discovered. Every single day, new information is brought forward. And our team needs to set an objective and work through the seven principles to manage the information effectively to make the best decisions. So for each of the six days, each team needs a leader. And the role of the leader passes from person to person around the team so everyone gets a chance to lead. So if I'm wearing the magnifying glass, it means that I am the team's leader. I can set the agenda of the day. I can make sure the objective is clearly stated. And at the end of the day, when time is up, we stop for a cup of tea. And when we have a cup of tea, we step away from the table and we actually spend a few minutes as a team reflecting on how did we just do against each of those seven principles? Which principles did we show strengths? And where were there areas where we really need to improve? And we create an action plan on things we are going to be focused on for the next day. When I pass the role of the leader, that leader is now watching for the things that we just said we were going to do differently. Are we being as effective as we can in running a meeting? So effectively, over the course of the experience, participants have the chance to hold six meetings, to see improvement, and as they see improvement in their meetings, the time gets shorter, and they find themselves able to make better decisions and solve the crimes. So when we run this as a conference event, they do learn the seven principles of running an effective meeting, but the focus is more on their team experience in working as a team, working through the information, and in the meantime, they get to practice running effective meetings. We've done this with great theming where we've had characters come in and dress up like Lord Devon's 
staff like Lord Devon's neighbors that were there so that as the who done it unfolds they can actually see the people in the room. There are a lot of options to theme this program and we have a lot of fun with it. So the difference when we run this as a skill-based program is we spend more time up front really digging into what the seven principles mean. What, what does world-class look like? Why are they difficult? Why don't they typically happen? We, we run Lord Devon the same way we would in a conference but we can spend more time in the end debriefing. We've customized this. Sometimes organizations have specific agenda templates that they like to use. Well, we can actually build those into the experience. Sometimes we want to change the language around the principles to be more reflective of an organization's current language or culture. We can change the seven principles. The purpose of this program when run as a skill-based program is to give them the opportunity to practice, reflect, practice, reflect, practice, reflect. It is instantly applicable the minute they walk out the door and hold their very next meeting.